Hey there, it's Tara, and I have a little confession to make. I am Christmas crazy, but because of that, I am dedicating the whole month of December to holiday month. I'm gonna be teaching you everything you need to know about a DIY holiday and how to make delicious, crazy, amazing recipes that are gonna impress your family and friends that you might not actually want to share. And that's what I'm starting with today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make these holiday spice truffles. For your ingredients, you're going to need two cups of dates. I've used a mixture of mazafati and deglet nur dates and have soaked the deglet nur dates. Then you're going to need 15 tamarinds, sweet tamarinds, and a special spice mix that I'm using for this recipe, which has two and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one heaping teaspoon or tablespoon of carob powder, and half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Next, you're going to need half a cup of dried mulberries. To start with, you're going to want to crack the tamarind shell, which is really easy, you just do it with your fingers. Put your tamarind in a bowl. And I recommend using the variety that I get from Superstore, which is literally just called Sweet Tamarind, and it's from Thailand. The first step is putting in your mulberries and your spice mix into your blender and you want to just blend this up until it reaches really fine, kind of flour-like. It only takes about 30 seconds in the blender and then you're ready to pour it into a bowl. Then you can just leave it sitting in your bowl and we'll move on to the next step. Take your dates that have been soaking and drain the water into another bowl, but make sure you keep it because you're going to need it a little bit later on. Then you can put your dates, both kinds, into your blender. Oh, they look so gooey and fresh and delicious. Then you're going to take your tamarind, which you already cracked the shells of, and take a knife and make sure that you cut it and get those seeds out. You don't want to blend with the seeds. After you're done cutting the seeds out, you should be left with a really big pile of tamarind, about a cup or so. You're just gonna throw that in with your dates in the blender, Add in as much water as you want that the dates were soaking in. I put about three teaspoons in, and then after that, you're gonna start your blending. You'll definitely be needing your tamper for this, and even better if you have a food processor, that would work better than the Vitamix in this case. Your dough should look like fresh caramel, and what you wanna do is mix it together with the mulberry and spice crumbs in the bowl until it's well combined. Once it's mixed through, take your truffle dough and throw it in the freezer for maybe just an hour or two. You just want to do this to get the dough firmed up a little bit. Now it's time to take it out of the freezer and begin the next step. And to do this, you're going to want a bowl of cold water. The reason is when you wet your hands and wet your spoon, it is going to be so much easier to roll your truffle dough into little balls. Then you're just going to put some carob powder on a plate and roll your truffles in the carob powder. If you wanted to use cinnamon or vanilla or cacao, you can roll it in whatever you like. And now you've got your finished truffle. Okay, this is it. It is time for the taste test. Now I haven't firmed these up in the fridge yet, so you'll definitely want to put them in the fridge before you go eating them, but I don't have time for that. I don't have patience for that. So, mm, oh my god. <laughs> these are so good. Please go make these, if you know it's good for you. Bring them to your holiday gathering, serve them to your family and friends, and they will never know that these are raw. If you love these truffles, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to 40 Below Fruity. If you want more from me, then head over to my website, www.40belowfruity.com, and I will see you guys in the next holiday video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever it is for you, and I will see you guys next time. Is that snow? No way! It is snowing! How perfect is that? Right during this recipe video, it is snowing outside, the first snow of the season. Stick your spatula. I need a strike from the blender.